Hello everyone, New Retro Dave here, and this is Chef Kelly. We are here at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort. And we're here to check out the new Beauty and the Beast inspired bar and lounge called the Enchanted Rose. So the chandelier is inspired by Belle's gown from the movie. Each individual piece contributes to the flow. It looks like it's actually Belle's dress that's moving. So beautiful. We found a table. It's pretty busy. We're here a little after 4 o'clock and there's quite a few people here. A table side candle. How romantic. Lavender fog sounds really good, however, I don't know how I feel about having cream in an alcoholic beverage. Mm, so I might nice. do something a little bit lighter. The floral bitter beauty. It's actually on the cheaper side, it's only $16. Oh, only $16. Mm -hmm. So what are you thinking of getting? I think I'm gonna get the uh, seasonal old fashioned. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of the old fashioned, but it is $25. Uh, one of the most expensive drinks on the menu. However, I have to try it. You know, we're doing a vlog, so we're, we're sparing no expense here at New Retro Day. <laughs> This seasonal old fashioned looks incredible. There's like a piece of pine in it with a seasonal syrup and 10 year aged bourbon. Mine has this giant piece of star anise in it and a lemon rind. The only thing that I feel like ruins the ambiance for me is this paper straw. Wow, it almost tastes like pink lemonade to me and it looks like it too. going on with that. There's such a deep, rich, oaky flavor in it. This is really good. Worth $25. At first I thought this was pine. Since this drink is a seasonal old-fashioned, I thought they were going with the Christmas aspect of it. With some cranberry, it looks like, inside. But after thoroughly smelling this, Kelly determined it is rosemary. It adds a great aroma when you're sipping on this drink. Very, very elegant and delicious. Let's just take a minute now to appreciate these uh, fine coasters. Look at this lovely Beauty and the Beast rose. Before we got here, we were watching some vlogs. A lot of the vloggers were talking about the chairs here. You know, I thought it was very strange, but now that I'm here, I do see a lot of very unique looking chairs. These chairs have so much character that it actually feels like we're in the movie. When you leave at night, you think they're gonna come to life and start singing and dancing and cooking food. So I really appreciate that level of detail. What do we want to eat is the question. Kelly's looking at this flatbread that looks really good. Or the truffle fries, which I hear is also incredible. 18 month aged Parmesan, are you kidding? Yeah, it's either between the truffle fries or the flatbread. This is a tough choice. So we made a mistake. We asked for truffle fries and it's 4.40 p.m. But they don't start serving food until 5 p.m. So we're just gonna hang out for the extra 20 minutes, but I mean, I feel like that's very important for you guys to know. They open at 1 p.m., but they don't start serving food until five. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen. Mustard aioli sauce, truffle fries. 
Dave. He's off somewhere filming something else. The Enchanted Rose is divided up into four unique spaces. The bar area is where you'll find the golden chandelier that looks like Belle's dress. Next to that is the Forest Room, which is inspired by the Enchanted Forest surrounding Beast's Castle. And then we have the outdoor patio, which is like Beast's Terrace. Beautiful view and very romantic. Finally, there's the formal library area. If you look hard enough, you'll notice Cogsworth as well as Lumiere sitting on the shelves. There's all sorts of Easter eggs here, so look around, take your time. There's beautiful paintings. It's really majestic. I would highly recommend walking around each of these areas to appreciate all the detail. Truffle fries, people. This looks delicious. Holy what is this dipping sauce? It's like a spicy mustard aioli. And then you have this creamy spice to go with it. This is phenomenal. You have to get this, you guys. Look at that aged Parmesan, people. This is 18 year aged, and it looks and tastes like it. Are you sure about that? Yeah. 18 months, not year. Oh. Again. Correction, this is not 18 year age Parmesan, it's 18 month, which of course makes more sense. But it is just as delicious. Got the coaster. We had a wonderful time at the Enchanted Rose, very romantic. We're feeling a little buzz, but we're having a great time taking a walk. It is breathtaking out here. I mean, after you go to the Enchanted Rose for a cocktail and food, you definitely have to check out what the Grand Floridian has to offer. It's gorgeous out here. I definitely would recommend this for anyone traveling into Florida or at Walt Disney World to come check this out. It was a great experience. Yeah, very enchanting, perfect for a date. You come have a nice drink at the Enchanted Rose. You have a view of the entire lagoon, then you just can walk back here yes. and see all this for yourself, have a nice romantic stroll. That, <laughs> that type of stuff happens back here. That's the magic of Disney, <laughs> folks. I'm feeling the magic right now. It might be the alcohol, but you know what? <laughs> it's still magical. And uh, speaking of magic, we're gonna be going to Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, right so now. if you didn't catch the video before, we're gonna post a link below. So subscribe to that, view that, like this, do all those internet things. New Retro Dave, Chef Kelly, and uh, we'll catch you later. Bye.